Following a very strong year in 2015 for portfolio performance, 2016 has been far more sanguine. The Australian equity market's actually contributed very little again at the index level, uh, as it has actually in, for the last three years. But what's very interesting in that regard is the fact that the resource sector, which has detracted very materially from index levels in 2014 and 2015, has bounced very, very strongly in 2016, up about 25% year to date. That's also benefited the Australian dollar, uh, which has appreciated slightly throughout the year, not just from those bouncing commodity prices, also some stabilisation in views of the Chinese economy and lower capital outflows uh, that were burdening that economy. And in addition to that, uh, a view that the US interest rate cycle is gonna take longer than the market was thinking at the end of 2015. As our longer term clients know, our portfolios have been exceeding their portfolio objectives for many years now. As a result of these more sanguine market conditions I've just described, has meant that the portfolio performance this year has also been far more muted. Now what's interesting about that is the market opportunity, or is the index in, in Australian equities last year, was also broadly flat, or only up a couple of percent. The equity portfolios contributed very, very materially, and in some portfolios, close to 20% or above 20%. Now, with that sharp reversal in resources, it's meant that we haven't had that same contribution coming through in respect of that excess performance. And in fact, we've had a small detraction from those market performances as those other stocks which haven't borne as well as the resource companies. In addition to that, the large currency, foreign currency holdings we've had, which continue to perform well for us for many years, and we continue to be very confident about moving forward, uh, that small currency appreciation of the Australian dollar has also been a slight headwind that we've been facing into. Ultimately for us, the short-term market conditions haven't been of great concern, uh, but the key changes we've been making in the portfolio this year has to be gradually decrease the amount of equity exposure we have in the portfolios. Now, equity markets in our mind, and as we've been saying for some time, are broadly fully valued to uh, approaching in some areas slightly overvalued, but there's no great alarm for us just from a valuation standpoint. Uh, what we are far more concerned about is we think that the global market is far too relaxed in relation to some of the risks that are operating uh, in the marketplace, and really they've become far too confident about global central banks continually providing monetary stimulus into markets, supporting markets whenever these risks have come to bear. And we saw this around the middle of this year uh, with post the Brexit vote, which surprised uh, ourselves and the industry and the markets no end. But ultimately, within one week of that uh, shock announcement and shock decision, markets already in the UK, the FTSE index, were trading above their pre-decision levels. Now, ultimately for us, we're seeing that across a whole range of markets. And as we're in a period where interest rates are expected to rise, or due to rise in the near term, uh, we feel that there's actually going to be some issues, some liquidity and volatility issues that the market's going to have to work through. And so as a result of that, we're far more comfortable taking risk off the table. Firstly, it's always important to come back to what our portfolio objective or mandate actually is. And really that's twofold. The first is to ensure that we're seeking to maximise the return in any given period for the amount of risk we're taking. And we constantly highlight that risk because we want to ensure that the amount of risk we're running in the portfolios is consistent with the amount of risk that our clients expect us to take. But the second component of that, which is a really important influence on our investment decision making, is we're seeking to preserve capital at all times. Now what's been missed or forgotten easily in recent years because of the strength of the investment performance is how little equity risk we actually run in the portfolios. And ultimately we do that because we want factor diversification. We want diversification of different investment inputs that each contribute to the portfolio over time. Now in terms of our performance and objectives going forward and why we remain very comfortable, there's a couple of things that contribute to that. The first is we ultimately remind our clients it's all about the time frame you look over. And one of the things that happens far too much in the industry is people concentrate over far shorter time frames. But the second element that's important is our quality focus and bias 
means that we have an increased confidence about the sustainability of earnings and the sustainability of returns, therefore, in different components of our portfolio, which ultimately, whilst we can't control short-term market movements and gyrations or events, we certainly can have confidence around the sustainability of those earnings streams and therefore about the compounding of returns over time in the portfolios.